All right, what's going on, guys? Um, welcome to Regular Expressions uh, Made Easy Part 10. So in this video, we'll be going over flags. So flags are actually an argument, um, flags argument, that we use in certain methods such as re.search, re.match, re.findall. So we have this uh, parameter, um, flags, which gives us certain options to add to our regular expression. So uh, I've actually went over uh, or gave examples of flags in the early videos, but I'm going to give some more concrete examples in this video. So let's just get started. Uh, the first thing we're going to do, of course, is import RE, regular expressions. Now the next thing is I have a, a string already lined up. It's a pretty lengthy string. It's part of a news article, but I actually uh, made some changes to clarify my examples. All right, so we won't worry about the string at the moment. Uh, there's a couple of things, a uh, couple of meta characters I want to go over. All right, so we have this uh, caret sign and a dollar sign. So I've never gone over these, but these are, are pretty important just to understand. So what the caret sign is, is it's something we can add to our regular expression that forces our pattern to look at the beginning of the string. So let me just go down. So re.search, so we have this pattern here, re.search. And now I've added a caret sign at the beginning of our uh, pattern. So essentially, uh, this caret sign, what this caret sign does is it forces our, our pattern to be at the beginning of a string. So if our pattern is not at the beginning of a string, we get no results. If you guys remember, re.search actually searches throughout the entire string. So by adding this uh, caret, we actually uh, confine the, the search to only the beginning of the string. So this is very similar to re.match, which only looks at the beginning of the string. So with re.match, I actually don't have to use the caret sign because it only looks at the beginning string. And we went over this in the previous videos. So in our case, since we begin with the US stock index with, you know, with this, we're not gonna get any results if I run these two. So if I run this, um, no result. And if I run this, we get no result. So that's uh, the caret sign. Now, I, I quickly want to go over the dollar sign as well. So the dollar sign matches at the end of the string. So um, at the end of the string, we have North Korea uh, period, um, or depending how far back you go, you could go uh, North Korea, North Korea period, many metrics, comma, North Korea, North Korea. North Korea. So depending on far, how far you go back, um, our, our string ends with one of these uh, words. So in our case, we're searching for uh, a string that ends with North North Korea period. So this will be the final uh, portion of our of our string. So it ends with period. If you go backwards, period, then Korea, then North. So just looking above, as you can see, we we actually have um, a match here. So if we run the code below, this will actually match um, or produce a match object or produce a result. The uh, dollar sign usually comes at the end of the string um, because. We don't want anything else after this uh, this portion of the string. So this portion of the string, or this pattern, should be the end of the string. So the dollar sign usually comes at the end of our pattern, and the uh, caret sign comes at the beginning of our pattern. So now the reason why I went over this is because we're actually going to deal with some flags um, when it comes to the caret sign. So just remember, the caret sign means beginning, and the dollar sign means the end. All right, so. I'm going to show you our first flag, which is uh, re.multiline or re.m. So you can use whatever, uh, whichever. However, re.multiline is probably more readable. In my examples that I have provided for you guys, um, I'm using uh, re.multiline. So we're using the same uh, re expression as above, um, our string as our string, but now I've added this uh, flags parameter, and in the, in the flags parameter, I've added this re.multiline. So what does re.multiline do? Well, since this caret sign forces us to look at the beginning string for North Korea uh, period, um, what this re.multiline does is actually gives us uh, an additional feature. So instead of just being confined to the beginning of the string, we can also look for instances at um, the beginning of each line. So going up, this is the beginning of the string, but if we look at each new line, these are the beginnings uh, beginnings of each new line. Uh, from that here, and we actually have an instance of North Korean period at the beginning of our line. Yeah, that's the only instance. So if we go back, so that's what uh, re.multiline uh, does. So 
I'm pretty sure re.multiline can only be used with the caret sign. It could also be used with the dollar sign. I'm not really sure, but it's usually always used with the uh, ca uh, caret sign. So this caret sign. So if we run this, we should get one instance. And as expected, we got one instance. Now with re.match, we can't actually use the multiline. The re.multiline only works with re.search. So it does not work with re.match, unfortunately. So if we run this, we'll get no result. So remember, re.match, uh, re.search, you can use the multiline with the caret, and re.match, even if you use the caret, there's a, you get no match, despite using R, the caret and re.multiline. Okay, so that's our first flag, multiline. We can use it with uh, the caret sign. All right, so I'm going to go into the next flag, which is um, ignore case. So ignore case is just, um, it looks for both instances. It'll look for the uh, North Korea with the, the capital letters, and then it'll look for a case without any capital letters. So ignore case is just looking for the capital, capitalized version or the non-capitalized version. So in our case, we want to find all instances of North Korea, whether they be capitalized with N and K or, the, or they're non-capitalized with the lowercase N and lowercase K. So if I run this, um, before I run it, let's just uh, go back up and check out our uh, check out our string. So we have uh, one instance, North Korea, another instance here, North Korea, and then we have two instances here. So we should have at least four instances. And as you can see, I purposely used uh, lowercase letters for North Korea here. It's lowercase n and lowercase k just to showcase the benefit of the uh, flag parameter. Okay, so let's just uh, get to our ignore case. And remember, you can use the flag parameter as, as either re ignore case or re dot i. Okay, so let's just uh, run this now. And one, two, three, four. So as expected, we got four uh, instances. So North Korea, North Korea, lowercase North Korea, and uh, uppercase North Korea. So re dot ignore case is just a flag that basically just ignores the case, whether it be uh, capitalized or not capitalized, it doesn't matter, we'll find both. All right, so now we have one more flag I wanna go over, uh, re.all. So I actually went over this in the earlier videos, um, but I guess I'll formally go over it in this video because I am doing a video on flags. So re.all re is uh, used with the dot meta character, and if you guys remember the dot meta character, um, it grabs everything or it captures everything except for a new line. So our string, for our string, it should pull out the first line because it's not going to pull out the new line. So US stock index futures pointed is what we should be pulling out. So let me just uh, run this. And as expected, we got US stock index futures pointed. All right. So now if we want to actually pull out the new lines as well, if we want to include the new lines as well, we can use this flags use this flag re.all. If I run this, it should actually pull out the entire article or the entire paragraph, the entire string. So let's just run this. As you can see, the new lines are included. New line, new line, new line. Value that uh, new line. So yeah, so all the new lines are included. So that's what uh, basically re. Uh, dot all does. All right, um, so those are the three kind of major flags that I want to go over. Um, there's actually other flags that are that I personally don't really use. Um, we have the re ASCII, re.debug, and re.locale. So ASCII is, remember, um, you can have your, your text in either ASCII or um, Unicode. Python uses Unicode, um, so if you want to convert your code to ASCII and then use uh, regular expressions, I guess you can use this flag. But since Python uses Unicode, um, just by this example, so this is a, a, a Japanese string, right? So because Python uses uh, Unicode or represents all of its strings in Unicode, we can actually have like Japanese strings. So if I run this, we'll have a, a Japanese string. Um, we don't have to convert it to Unicode. And then we can actually do something like re.search for a certain character. We can just copy this character, put it here, and then it'll return that specific character. So match equals um, this specific kanji character. So because everything is in Unicode. Um, so we don't really have to worry about re.ascii, um, re.debug is for debugging debugging purposes, and re.locale, um, not really sure. I haven't used uh, 
uh, are that locale at all. So I don't really use any, any of these three, but if you guys want to uh, check them out, I would suggest looking at the docs. Okay. Um, all right, so yeah, so that's all the uh, flags, okay? Uh, so we went over a caret and a, a dollar sign. So the caret represents the beginning of the string, the dollar represents the end of the string. And then we used a multi-line. Remember, multi-line is only with re.search. So re.search, whenever you use a caret, you can use a multi-line to find any instances of our pattern starting at the new line or at the beginning of a new line. Okay, then we have ignore case where we want to ignore uh, the capital letters. So in this case, we'll either pull out North Korea with uh, capital N or cap and capital K, or we can pull out a North Korea with uh, capital N, not capital N, a lowercase n, lowercase k. And you can actually mix, mix and match, capital A, N, lowercase K, uh, capital K, lowercase N. So basically a, a combination. All right, so then we have re dot, dot all. Um, re dot all only applies to the dot. And remember, the dot only grabs uh, usually the first line. It doesn't grab any new lines, but when we use the flag dot all, we can pull out the uh, new lines as well. Okay, so we, had, we went over other flags briefly. ASCII, debug, locale. Um, I don't really use any of these too much, so. No problem with that and um, this was just an example of regular expressions running in Unicode running Unicode so we don't have to worry about ASCII and we don't have to worry about characters from different uh, countries or different languages so that's it with this video if you enjoyed the video hit like and leave some comments and feedback as to what you like and what you disliked as well as uh, what you what type of videos you like to see and subscribe if you like to see uh, more videos. In the next video, we'll be covering a split and sub. So those are two different methods. Um, it depends on how long the videos will be. I might have to make them uh, a video each. But yeah, so the next thing I'm going to focus is on re.split and re.sub. All right, so I will see you guys next time.